Hey, we are here at Eastwood and it is almost done. If you guys have been following this one on the blog, um, you may have been following it for a little while because uh, the permits on this one took a little bit longer, but we are finally here. It is finally finished and it looks badass. Yeah, it's one of the best looking houses I've seen in a while. Um, as we get in, you'll see there's some awesome f uh, hardwood floors, a new style that I haven't seen um, out here on the exterior of the house. You can see we've got a two car garage. That second car garage was actually added just about a week ago. Um, we had feedback from so many people that being up here in Olympus Cove, they wanted a two car uh, garage, so that was added. Um, and you can see the outside of the ho house is completely different than when it first started. So let's go inside and uh, see the changes that have taken place. Yep. All right, so when inside we're, uh, we're seeing the fixings for a great little property here. Yeehaw! <laughs> First thing you'll notice is really cool stain on the wood right here. Um, I don't uh, know what it is, but I like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same on the floors, uh, like we mentioned outside. Really cool new style, I'm totally digging it. Um, there used to be a wall that ran through the center of this room, uh, separating the kitchen and the living room. That went bye-bye, and now you've got this huge open space. Um, brand new everything in here as you can see and you've got a great flow to an exterior patio outside here that actually has a spiral staircase up to the rooftop deck so yeah. really cool flow um, and use of space in here. One of, the, one of my favorite things about this property is the view as well from every single area mm -hmm. of the house you get what I call one of the best views of Mount Olympus because you're not completely facing west you're actually facing south so you don't get that west sun beating on you and you get a perfect shot of Mount Olympus from even the basement bedroom. So um, let's go check out the bathroom where the goods are. Let's see what's over there. So Matt has to stay close to me because the microphone's not working. So this is how he's, we're now going to finish this video. Can you hear me You're now? too close. <laughs> um, so this bathroom, all brand new, uh, really cool style. You got floating um, gray cabinet, uh, quartz countertops, raised sink, all new tile. Then you also have two additional bedrooms on the main floor here. So you have one bathroom, two beds here, one uh, bedroom and bathroom downstairs, and then the master we'll go see here in just a sec. It's the coolest part of the house. Yeah, let's go down first and then there. All right, so Cody has been a very bad boy, so we banished him to the Harry Potter room. So, um, and also I apologize if I pass out some, uh, some point during this video because the carpet glue is very, very strong down here. Way stronger in there. <laughs> yeah. So, so I just uh, came out of your guest bedroom. Um, if it's for friends, family, and loved ones, uh, the ones that you don't like, really nice space for them. Good for family reunions. <laughs> All right, so downstairs here we have access to one of the garages. We have one um, bathroom and one bedroom that could also be used as an office. It has a very large closet that could be used for storage space as well. Yeah, we did some major layout changes down here. That when you came into this family room down here before, it felt like there was no space. I mean, it was closed off, weird walls at weird angles. Um, so we opened it all up and now it's a usable family room. There was access to the bedroom through the this area right here. We closed that off functionally. It flows a lot better this way. Um, so now it actually feels like a real space. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you'll bathroom. We'll get some shots down here of the bathroom. 
Um, again, just completely redone. New countertops, new flooring, new tile. Uh, it's a full tub shower. Um, it would work well for a guest bedroom actually down here because you could have someone be staying with you and have their own bathroom. Yeah, yeah, and like we said, they don't spare any expense. It's high-end, high-end cabinets with the high-end finish on it. Um, above counter sinks that are really cool. So it's very unique and we love working with these guys because they do such good work. So when you buy this house, you know it's gonna be done right. They had all permits done on it and uh, it took quite a while just because of how much extra work they did to it. Yeah. Hey, um, we're in the laundry room. This is a pit stop on the way to the master. This is just behind the kitchen. We've got a huge laundry room here that you can easily kind of put like a cabinetry, some type of cabinetry here to have a folding table and some storage and everything. Yeah, um, lots of room for activities. In here. Oh yeah, yeah, you could, you probably do some yoga. Yeah, yoga some touches, gymnastics or yoga. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, you could have a, a live workspace with a yoga studio you if you really wanted to. So there's a door that goes out to the yard here. Um, and then like Matt had mentioned downstairs, the, these guys don't spare any expense. They actually completely redid the rear foundation of this home uh, to support all the new um, beams and everything for the rooftop patio that we're gonna see here in a minute as well. So. Yeah. yeah, let's check out right here too. So you've got a ton of pantry space right off the kitchen area. Yep. Just loads of shelves in here, a lot of room for some cocoa puffs. I like cocoa puffs. I probably fill at least one of these with cocoa puffs. Count chocula. Yeah, I thought I like. I think he likes fruity pebbles. Oh, oh. Those are pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah I bet they are, aren't they? <laughs> Solid core doors throughout the whole house, which is really nice. Uh, it feels better when you close those things. All right, so we're up here in the master suite now. Um, when we were doing design on this, we were kind of contemplating whether to put the master on the main level or up here and maybe have this be a family room. Um, we decided towards the, obviously, the master bedroom up here, which is badass. Yep, it's super cool. You've got this huge rooftop patio right off of your master. So the bed, you know, it's envisioned to be here. You've got this huge deck um, space right off the side and it has the spiral staircase down the deck below. You've also got a door that goes out to the backyard and back patio. So you have a bunch of entertaining space directly accessible from your master. Yeah, they're all they're all right at your fingertips and kind of all flow together. But yeah, there's like five exterior entertaining spaces here. And almost every one of them has some type of view or privacy, depending on what kind of you know activity you're doing, whether it's having a glass of wine or friends over or reading the paper in the morning, there's a spot for everything. Yeah. So we'll take a quick look in here at the master bathroom. Again, this was all reconfigured. There wasn't a bathroom up here before. Uh, so a very large shower was added, a separate soaking tub, um, and then a huge closet behind the wall here. Yeah, there's actually a staircase that came up like right where we're standing. So they actually relocated the whole entire staircase to make the room flow a lot better. Um, it's kind of crazy how much work they did to this place and how well it turned out. but. The, the views again from up here, unbelievable. You got a view of Mount Olympus. Um, I definitely want to have this in or around my mouth a lot. <laughs> this property. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this property. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. Um, well, this property's going on the market here in just a couple days. So we're doing pre-marketing right now. Let us know if you'd like to come get in uh, and see it before it actually goes live on the MLS. Feel free to reach out to Matt or myself. Our information is on the post here. Um, so yeah, thanks for uh, checking this one out and we will catch you guys on the next video. See ya.